Fellow St. Lucians, the government continues to be advised on major adjustments which need to be made in the management of COVID-19 as we move toward a greater level of normalcy in our country. We have adjusted our testing protocols and our quarantine measures have changed. The rate of COVID-19 transmission continues to be on a general downward trend and we continue our work with stakeholders to finalize COVID-19 management approaches. While we prepare for the more long-term measures, we remind all St. Lucians to continue to be vigilant and to take measures which will protect yourselves and your families. We urge you to follow the public health measures, especially during the celebration of this year's independence. The Omicron variant can cause illness and hospitalization, especially if people who contract the virus are not vaccinated. The following measures for the control and prevention of the spread of COVID-19 for the period Saturday, February 19th to Friday, March 4th, 2022 have been decided after advice and the customary consultations. In an effort to prevent the spread of COVID-19, a person shall remain confined to their place of residence Mondays to Sundays from 12 a.m., which is midnight, to 4 a.m. each day. A business establishment shall cease operation on Mondays to Sundays at 11 p.m. A restaurant and other food establishments approved by the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Tourism may provide a dine-in service to persons and can allow sale and disposal of intoxicating liquor at the restaurant and other food establishments. An educational institution shall continue to operate as stated in the Education Act. A person shall not host or attend a mass crowd event, social event, or recreational activity. A person can host a small event that consists of no more than 25 people, including persons of his or her immediate family at his or her residence, or fully vaccinated persons at his or her residence. A faith-based organization may hold a daily or regular religious ceremony and should comply with the square footage allowed in keeping with their COVID-19 response plan. A person shall not hold religious rites, including baptisms, weddings, and funerals, by physical attendance unless there are no more than 100 persons in attendance. A person shall not play loud music in accordance with the criminal code. A certified accommodation provider may provide recreational or social activities during the hours as specified under the COVID-19 order. A certified accommodation provider or an approved tourism establishment may permit a fully vaccinated person access to the services offered by the provider of the establishment. All other protocols remain in effect. The government of St. Lucia once again encourages everyone to follow the protocols stipulated. Let us all work together to fight this COVID-19 pandemic. I thank you.